Well, Sean, a little more cold before the warmth returns. Yeah, you know, we've had a lot of ups and downs this winter season, but every time we've gotten cold, it didn't take long for the warm air to come back. And that's going to be the case again as we make our way into next week. But it is going to get chilly over the weekend, 47 tomorrow. The uh, wind is going to be the issue here, northwest gusting to 35. And if you're a little further west, out toward uh, Marshall or Worthington or Wyndham, it's going to be even breezier for you with uh, some potential 40-plus gusts further west. 35 on Sunday, it's going to be even colder. And, of course, that wind is going to make it feel more like it's in the 20s on Sunday. It's a beautiful afternoon now, though. If you want to get out and enjoy a little bit of this nice mild weather here for a little while, you still have some time. Our temperature 51, the wind out of the west at 11 right now with uh, still low humidity. We are very dry, and uh, we have a front that's going to come through over the next couple of days, and that is going to bring some clouds, but no precipitation at all. 50 in St. Peter, it's 53 in Redwood Falls. Wyndham currently at 54 degrees, and as we bring up our talk a little bit about what we're talking here. Windy, cooler this weekend. We're going to be in the 40s Saturday, 30 Sunday. We're going to be back in the 50s next week. And our long-range models, our forecast data, nothing for rain. Maybe a sprinkle or two late next week into the following weekend, but there's just nothing of any significance in that long range. And that's bad news now that we're kind of rolling toward planting season. It's not going to be long, and we're going to see the planters out in the field. Cold front that's going to swing through tomorrow. That's going to bring some changes, but all the precipitation and all the moisture with this system is going to stay well to our north. You can see a little snow north of the international border, a little uh, rain in far northern Minnesota. There's a big low up there, and this baby's a powerful low, and there's a high to the west. And so the difference between that low and the high is going to create some big wind as we head into tomorrow and into Sunday. Here's the front. Now, the cold air is not going to be immediately behind the front. Notice how the front comes through tomorrow probably sometime in the morning, but that cold air is going to be hanging back a little bit. It'll start to get here later in the afternoon, and then on Sunday is when that cold is really going to take over as that front pushes east, high pressure kicks in, temperatures will drop, but that high is going to move east Sunday into Monday, and we're going to see warm air coming in on the back side of that high pressure system, so that will warm us back up into next week. 47, our high tomorrow in Mankato. We could probably get to 50 along I-90 further south into Iowa. Temperatures in the 50s, and then, yeah, there's Sunday. 35 in Mankato, St. James, 36, Fairmont. Low 30s further north up by Hutch, Olivia, Wilmer, uh, Twin Cities, Glencoe. It's going to be a chilly day on Sunday, and again, that wind is not going to help. It's going to feel a lot colder than 35 on Sunday. Clouds will increase overnight. We will see a few clouds in the morning tomorrow, and you see these little blips of green here. Nothing's coming out of those clouds. Uh, we're not going to get any rain. It's too dry at the surface. Anything that may fall out of the clouds will evaporate before it hits the ground. The sun will be out in the afternoon, and it should stay mostly sunny again on Sunday. Here's that long-range seven-day rain forecast. Not much to speak of there. 37, becoming mostly cloudy tonight. The wind out of the southwest gusting to 25. Tomorrow, windy with clouds in the morning. Sunshine in the afternoon. A little cooler with a high of 47. That wind, though, out of the northwest gusting to 35. 40 to 45 further south and west out by the Buffalo Ridge. 35 on Sunday, still windy on Monday. The wind will back off. It'll be sunny with a high of 40. And then right back into the 50s again, we're going to warm it up into next week. And you'll see a couple little specks there. Thursday, Saturday, Monday, a shower or two possible. It's still a long ways off, and it's too early to get real specific. But at this point, I don't think it's going to be much. Uh, and that's what's going on. Enjoy the weekend and take your jacket. Dion, back to you. All right. Thanks, Sean. Well, tonight at 10, more on a proposal to convert Minnesota's legislature to possibly a full-time format. Plus, a new study estimates millions of children are suffering from long COVID. What we know and don't know about the illness. Join us for those stories and more tonight on KEYC News Now at 10. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.